had you guys brainwashed already. I've had you an hour and 15 minutes of brainwashing. All right? So, you're getting your feet alive. You're exploding off, you're fighting off, you're, getting, you're finding the pressure, you're getting to your feet so you can get out, so you can attack your opponent. All right, we don't want to get in big roll rounds on the mat, get caught, get a waste of period, get turned. All right, we're going to get to our feet and get out. And establish our, our control on, on our feet. All right? So, I've been showing you guys how to control the hand, get to your feet, and cut, and have a seamless transition, right? That's not always going to happen, though. You're going to get to your feet, and the guy's going to have his hands locked. It's, it happens, okay? So, we can't really worry about it too much, other than we know we're going to get lifted sometimes, all right? The good guys are going to mat returns. They're not going to give us three points. They want to ride us. They want to hold us down. They want, they want to take the energy out of us. So, Ryan here is pretty tough on top. He likes to put the squeeze on people. I know that. I get to my feet. He gets his hands locked. He goes to lift me. When he lifts, do I lift? My knees have to come to my chest, okay? I got a ball up here. So when he spikes me, I can land in my, in my position, ready to, ready to attack. What did his hands have to do? They had to unlock, okay? They had to. All right, otherwise he's gonna give up a point. This is the best time to attack another stand-up, okay? In that transition, as soon as we hit, the knee has to release before he can go to another ride, before he can stick a leg in, <laughs> before he can get his claw in real tight, before he can crab, crab ride me, suck me back. This is the best time to re-attack and explode up. So we're just gonna start right here. All right, we're all gonna get here sometime. The guy's gonna get his hands locked. Maybe it's rear standing off the takedown. All right, he hasn't, he hasn't thrown you down yet. You're in this position. And lots of times you're gonna be here. All right, your partner's gonna lift. You're gonna bring your knees to your chest. He's gonna spike. You're gonna land like a cat, okay? Did my body elongate as he went to spike me? Did I, did I stretch out? He stayed balled up, right? And then like a cat, <laughs> outside leg up, attack high hand, put my back pocket, cut down and away. So that's the first stand-up, right? Remember the first one? This? Ryan's on me. All right, I quarter turn. I attack the hand underneath, back pressure. Switch my hands, switch my feet, cut down and away. That's what I'm going to look for right now, okay? So as he mat returns, knees to chest, man like a cat, up. Oh. That's kind of fast, so I'm slow it down. So. He lifts, knees to chest, man like a cat, he lets go, outside leg up, attack the hand, switch hands and feet, top down and away. Yeah, you, you want a quarter turn, but the biggest thing is to get that outside leg up and push back. Quarter turn, I didn't quite do it that time, did I? It wasn't very good. <laughs> Moving, right? Moving. So he lifts, and then like a cat, quarter turn. Two times. Fast as I can, I will, one time. Alright, so, we already know the stand up, right? We know the stand up. All we have to do is start from here. He goes to lift, I bring my knees to my chest, he spikes. I keep them. I trust, I trust in my technique. I land like a cat. One thing that will help you is this outside leg. Ryan's lifting me to the left. This outside knee, as he lifts me, I try to get it down. See how I turn my hips? I try to fight my outside knee down. Okay? That'll help you guys feel a little more comfortable so you don't land like crooked. Question. Oh, what if he picks you up and some people from Try to soup you, belly to back soup. If you get belly to back soup, I, I can't really help you. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta help yourself first. How do you help yourself? I'm not getting in that position, but also with my hips, when I get up to my feet, I'm not, I don't have my butt in here. I'm not standing straight up. Okay? I'm like, my hips are down and out. I'm trying to fight his hands. Okay? It's really hard to soup me from this position. Hey, this is your question. Pay attention, okay? So he's, he's gonna have a hard time swooping me here. My feet are split, my hips are down and out, my toes turn up. I'm doing everything I can, he's just got his hands locked. Ryan steps in, lifts, knees go to my chest. I fought my outside knees down as much as I can. His hands release, I corner turn, attack the hand, put my back pocket, switch my hand and feet, wave. All right, push. Ankle drop. You mean like grab an ankle? Uh, and 
whip you up. Yeah, that's a, that's a valid question, but we're not focused on that, okay? That's another situation covered late. Out of bounds, no, it doesn't matter. You gotta start over anyway, so we'll fresh Well, if you want it, but it'd be better just to get a stand up. Alright? Okay, zip it. Zip it, zip it. Alright, so here we go. Alright? So, I'm not gonna let him suit me, right? My hips are down and out. I'm trying to fight here. Brian does a good job. He steps in, he lifts. I land like a cat. Quarter turn. Back pressure up. So, the only thing we're learning here that's new is our knees come to our chest. As he spikes us, we fight our outside leg down to land like a cat. The top guy's gotta unlock his hands. When he unlocks, we're quarter turning. And attacking the original stand-up. All right. Any questions? We don't need to do steps here. There's only one thing you got to do: pull your knees to your chest. Two things: pull your knees to your chest, keeping your chest laying like a cat. You guys got it? All right. What's up? Yeah, but we want to get back to the stand-up. So we're just taking it. All right. One, two.